Are you guys ready to see the best Marvel Lego set of 2021? Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special Lego video. As promised, we're going to be doing more Lego content here on the channel because if you guys don't know, Joanna and I are actually huge Lego collectors and uh, we absolutely love the product and uh, we have over 150 sets in our collection that need to get built on top of all the sets that we already have built that we need to display. So smash that like button if you guys enjoy Lego content and welcome to our official start of our Lego journey here on the channel as we're gonna be building up our Lego room and breaking ground on our Lego city very soon. So right here we have the Daily Bugle Lego box and inside is the Lego Daily Bugle set. Now, if you guys hang out with me in just a second, we're gonna build the entire set and I'm gonna give you my full review. So, without further ado, let's build this set. Man, that was really easy. Here it is. Here is the official Lego Daily Bugle Marvel set. And I'm gonna break this down and show you guys all the amazing elements, the amazing minifigures, and all of my arguments for why this is the best Marvel Lego set of 2021 and why you guys need to go grab this set before it retires so you don't miss out on a great one for your collection. All right guys, so here is the full Daily Bugle set in all its glory. You can see just how tall it is. That's how far I had to stand back. And I'm gonna walk you through all the different sections of this set. First off, this Daily Bugle set comes with 24 amazing Marvel minifigures, which is, in my opinion, worth it for the $300 price tag in itself. Now, $300 is quite a bit of money for a collectible toy or a building toy or what have you, but this this is just amazing and not something that LEGO comes out with every single day. This has 3,772 pieces, and I gotta say, it was a very, very enjoyable build. And some of the amazing minifigures that it comes with are some that you can't get in any other set, like Spider-Ham, for example, right here, as well as we also had Punisher, which I placed in the back of the set back here. So I'm gonna give you guys the full 360 of the set to show off all the different placements of the minifigures. Back here I have Venom fighting Miles Morales. We also have the Spider-Mobile up here on the side of the building, which is awesome. Down here, like I said, I have Punisher and Blade, which is really cool. On the side of the building, I have Carnage right here, which is pretty awesome. Um, up here on the back, I have Black Cat. And on the side here, I have Spider-Gwen and then coming down a little bit, we have Mysterio. I placed Spider-Man right here swinging from the top of the Daily Bugle sign, and he is actually battling Dr. Octopus, which I thought was very appropriate since we're about to see them in the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Right here we have the Green Goblin busting out of the third floor section of the Daily Bugle. And down here we have the Sandman, coming up fighting Daredevil. And there's also a bunch of minifigures that I've placed inside the Daily Bugle set as well. And I even threw in some of the Marvel's What If blind bag minifigures. Up here I have Falcon with his new upgraded Captain America suit. And I also threw in Bucky right here. He's got the shield as well as his knife. Thought it was very appropriate. And up here we can't forget Zooming away from the battle, we have Firestar. Now the set also has a vehicle. It comes with this amazing New York City taxi, which is a nice added bonus. So when we get our Lego City up and running, we'll be placing the Daily Bugle set along with the taxi. So now I'm gonna break down each section and give you guys a sneak peek at all the different levels so you can see just how intricate this amazing Marvel modular building set is. So starting with the first level of the Daily Bugle, you can see we have a lobby area inside there 
Um, however, unlike the other levels, this front part does not come off very easily. However, if you turn it to the side, we have this pocket wall door here, and you get a glimpse of the minifigures sitting inside the lobby area of the first level of the Daily Bugle. So I'm just gonna put that back there. And then spinning it around, we can move up to the second level here. And I gotta say, each level of the building was so much fun because as you're going through the instruction booklet, which if I might add is quite thick, it is a lot of fun because you just don't know what to expect as each level progresses. So here we have some TV monitors and some desks of the little office building area and we have a couple minifigs that i've placed inside there and uh, you also have several newspapers stacked up and there's actually a lot of newspapers that you put on the wall throughout the levels of the daily bugle and it's really awesome because you see different callbacks to different spider-man comics as well as the different spider-man movies they've made throughout the years so moving up to the third level of the daily bugle they did something incredible and they actually did the Spider-Man meme right here where you have Peter Parker sitting at the desk and then you have the Spider-Man picture on the wall behind him which is really funny. And then moving into this other section you have a big web and as well as a little pizza box and it's basically Peter Parker's apartment which is pretty cool. Now throughout the levels of the Daily Bugle you see in the background we have an elevator so it's really cool that they kept that consistent throughout the levels of the building. Now as we go up to the fourth and final level of the Daily Bugle, you see that we have J. Joma Janison in his office right there, as well as his secretary, and you can see the amazing sticker elements and all the thought that Lego went into when designing these, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Some Lego sets you put all the sticker decals on at the end of the set, but with the intricacy of the Daily Bugle, you actually put the stickers on throughout the set as your building. And one of the biggest sticker elements is actually right here on the second floor where you have the news window right here and on the side you actually have vote Osborne for mayor which is a nice callback to Harry Osborne running for mayor. You also have this really funny scene where Mysterio, Sandman, and Dr. Octopus as well as the Green Goblin are vowing that them as villains are not going to be bad anymore. Not sure how that's going to work out but uh, it was just a really funny scene that they threw on there for the front of the Daily Bugle building. So as you guys can see, it was a lot of fun building this set and uh, with Spider-Man No Way Home right around the corner, this is a perfect gift for any Marvel fan that you guys know or if you guys are huge Lego collectors, I would highly suggest picking this one up because I could see this being a thousand dollar set no problem once this is retired. So that was my complete breakdown and review of the Lego Daily Bugle set. If you guys are on the fence at all about picking up this set, I highly encourage you do so. I have a feeling it's going to be a popular Christmas item. And of course, with Spider-Man No Way Home coming out on the 17th, this set is either even going to be more valuable. And uh, I have a feeling there's going to be less stock available online and in Lego stores. If you guys want to see more Lego content on the channel, make sure to drop a comment down below and subscribe because we would love to do so. We have so many sets that I want to build and I happen to just get a few more sets 
for my birthday last week. So thank you to all those people who sent over a set for my collection. And of course, Joanna is a huge Lego collector as well. So we have all kinds of content that we want to do here on the channel. Uh, we obviously love Funko. It's very close and near and dear to our hearts. Um, however, there's also a special half for Lego. So that's why we wanted to start doing some stuff Lego related on the channel. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this set in person. I had so much fun building it. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you own this set or if this is one that you are hoping to pick up very soon. As always guys, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon.